What is happening everyone, it's your one and only OCG coming at you with a brand new series on our channel guys. Uh, I decided to go for Planet Coaster and this is going to be on the console editions. So there's going to be a plenty of trophies to collect, let's have a look of trophies. If I'm not mistaken there's like over 80 or trophies in here. Uh, so that will that will be like quite interesting to do. Uh, and I was thinking about going for uh, sandbox edition and see what we can build you know. Yeah, I have no idea. I've played this game uh, before on a PC, but I wasn't much into it as like I didn't have much time to play it and stuff. So look at it, there are different DLCs content. So if this series do well, then possibly I'll be able to buy some of them because the Planet Coaster was free for PS Plus in which it's a free game, uh, so I don't know if I should spend any money on any DLC, but if we do well, then hell yeah, man, why not, right? Alright, uh, continue. Right, so we got a career, we got sandbox, and we got challenges, guys. So, each different, uh, there are different trophies for each section, uh, except the sandbox, of course. But we were definitely going to go for the sandbox section, because I really want to build my own park and have a thing. But at the moment, we're going to go for the career. We have uh, quite a lot of careers, guys. We've got, let's count it up, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 careers. So that's going to be potentially a few episodes going on over here. We will have over 72 stores and each career can have up to, so this one's apparently got 6 stores, this one's 9, uh, and so on and so on. In which that's cool. If we collect all 72, we'll get one trophy and each of the... Uh, careers will provide us with another trophy bag. Uh, well, trophy, you know what I mean. Alright, so let's get with the first one. All Spark Practice Tutorial. So we have to complete that one. Let's go have a look. Uh, we're going to go for Green Ple uh, green Pleasure. And what is that one? Coaster Testing Facility. Uh, let's go with Green Pleasure and start the scenario. And let's go. Uh, so yeah. My, oh my. Is that a budding theme park proprietor I see before me? I certainly hope so. Otherwise, you're in quite the wrong place, and none of what I'm about to say will make any sense to you. I am Oswald B. Thompson, theme park empresario, and I am here to help you take your first steps in this most exciting of professions. And because it's a first step, we're starting in a somewhat humble location. A charming little park, which, as yet, has not fulfilled its undoubted potential. A park where you will begin to hone your skills. Alright. Thanks for that little introduction. Welcome to Planet Coaster. These are the key steps to create a spectacular coaster park. Build rides and scenarios to attract guests. Uh, choose guests for uh, using the ride shop and off, uh, all the facilities. Use the pro uh, profits to expand the build, build even more and more rides and even more rides. Okay. So, first things first, you should learn how to navigate around the park, moving, rotating, zooming, almost as if you were riding a roller coaster, a massive invisible roller coaster. Look at that! Nice. You've completed an objective! Now, objectives are a bit like bosses. They tell you what you need to do, earn more money than you, and drive a sports car. No, that's not right. Anyway, how about completing another objective? Uh, if I could butt in and make a suggestion, how about you make your next objective opening up literally the only ride in your park? Why is it even closed? Oh, hello, Lucy. This is Lucy Summers, one of the most enthusiastic and outspoken theme park fans in the world. She's got almost 800 followers. You know, online, not in a cult. Hi there. And it's 900, but who's counting? <laughs> so, the ride? Ah, yes. Opening rides. Go on. Select the raid. Alright, so we have to open this park, so let's have a look, guys. Uh, and how do we do this? Uh, do I press on it? Closed and open. Let's go. Nice. 
You did it with such gusto. Well done. And now that we have such an adorable, gentle ride open, more guests, Magic especially castle. families, will soon be flooding into the park. You know, you could turn that flood into a bigger flood. This place just needs something a bit more thrilling. Well, if people want thrills, then we'll give them thrills. And possibly nausea. Head over to the highlighted area. I think it'll make an excellent location for a ride. But let's ask our head engineer, Eugene. Greetings, Eugene Newton. Good to make your acquaintance. And yes, Mr. Thompson, I think it will do nicely. The proximity to existing infrastructure appears nominal, so guests should be able to achieve both entry and exit with minimal difficulty. Okay, new rides can be found in the ride browser. Okay. So, if you would start by clearing the highlighted area of any obstructions, please. And do right. not fret, those items will automatically be sold, so we will get at least some of the purchase price back. Okay, so highlighted. Okay, oh, so just do a word about the radial menu. The radial menu gives you fast access to commonly used actions. Please note that the options available in the radial menu will change depending on the mode you're in. Okay, cool. Very good. Sixty-two. Now, I've already is that chosen dollars? a suitably thrilling ride for you, so if you would care to select it. Yeah, sure. Uh, okay, so we have to go on right. And place it in the designated area. Okay, okay. Can I, like, rotate it? I can. Okay, we're going to work like... Obstructed? Ah, now, go. it's very important that when you place the entrance gate, you make sure to leave enough space so you can build a ride queue. Okay, so let's go here, okay, and then this is going to be the entrance, I think, isn't it? Yeah, I mean the exit, there you Next go. Next up, connecting your ride to the park, so people can reach it. Now, that queue you're building is where guests will wait in line to go on the ride. Okay, so we have to make sure that it's like... Kind of like bendy, bendy wop, just so there's a lot of people can queue in and all. You know what I mean? Very all right. good. Can we have and like a fast queue? Should build a path from the exit gate back to the rest of the park. For that, you can simply use normal paths. Ooh, okay. And if you do find any obstacles or obstructions in your way, you can build slopes or stairs into your path to get over them. Okay. So how do I? Create slope. Uh, when angle off on. Okay, this is interesting. How do I create slope? Path joining on. And finally, there we go. you can open the ride. No, no, that's not how we do it, is it, Eugene? Apologies, I meant. And finally, you can. Open the ride! Oh there you go. yeah, that's more like it! You're gonna get way more teenagers like me and my followers visiting the park now! Bro, that looks so bad, oh, what the hell just happened here? You just love teenagers? <laughs> so much disposable income! Cynthia! I didn't see you there! Please, allow me to introduce... Cynthia Clark, Chief Financial Officer. It's my job to make sure these places turn a profit. Speaking of which, thanks to that new ride, the park's rating has gone up. And you know what that means? More people. We can start charging the guests more money. <sighs> okay, very well. A necessary evil, I suppose. Okay, let's have a look. <laughs> evil. Did you see Ooh, that God, there's a lot of people queuing in. Even the guests think we're undercharging them. Let's do them a favor and fix that. Okay, so uh, rides are the main part of the park income. They earn money through ticket sales, but cost money due to the 
upkeep okay to improve the rights profitable its ticket price can be changed don't make uh, ticket price too high though as guests might become unhappy or even unwilling to pay at all right. all right take a good look at the notification it'll tell you what we need to alter the prices of okay magic castle has cheap tickets 15 percent okay cool uh inspect notification where do i go on notification uh, all right guys i i have fixed it so now i have because the the screen was slightly too big for me so i couldn't see the park management all right let's have a look notifications oh, look. it's that family friendly little ride of ours go on put the ticket prices up by a few dollars that seems a wee bit steep oh honestly oswald the people visiting this park aren't just getting to ride rides they're getting to make precious memories so if we put the ticket prices up then we're making those memories even more precious aren't right. we oh no that actually makes sense wait no it doesn't lower ticket prices make guests happy I know we're in the happiness business, Oswald, but we're also in the staying in business business. Okay, so nine, $9. Let's go to $10. All right. How much do you want me to put on? $11? Look, if you're Bruh. so worried, why don't we have your new underlings select a few guests and see what they're thinking, eh? Underling, indeed. They are a trainee, and they have a name. Although I just realized I don't know it. Damn, this guy's a bloody egg. Okay, inspect free guest thoughts. Alright, let's have a look. How? Uh, go to guests. Okay, can I like go on a guest? Let's have a look. Ooh! Free entry. I like the thing. Okay, thoughts. Oh, free entry. I like to put off by the, the look of Magic Castle. Oswald. Yes, but their happiness is our bread and butter. So it's important to regularly check what the guests are thinking. Okay, so they they they're looking for a bigger bigger like they need drinks, of course. So uh, there's no drink shops in this park. Okay, I've seen bigger brights. Uh, well, I didn't oh, there are no tickets in this park. Come there are on, no toilets in the park. Okay. Fast forward, sit back, and let the money roll in for a while. At least until we've made a healthy profit. Okay. How much are we getting for gain money? Okay, I need five hundred dollars. Can I like move this? Is there any way that I could move this? Uh, how do I come in here? Q time, can I request inspection, refresh, 30 minutes? Uh, there must be a way, advanced settings, color. How do I like... I want to move it. Oh, I just deleted something. Hmm. So I need to go on this here. Cause I want it, I want it. okay, Damari, no, oh man, I deleted something in here, okay. You know what, we're, it's anyways a bloody uh, additional time. How do I go faster? Ah, uh, okay, so I can increase the well speed. done on hitting Cynthia's profit forecast. Honestly, I was worried it was a little high. But as always, she knows just how hard to squeeze the guest's wallet. <laughs> Anyway, now that we've made some money, we can make some improvements. Okay. Oh, but don't forget okay. to slow things back down to normal speed again. After all, it's not a good idea to build a park on fast forward. 
you might miss out on an important notification, or a ride breaking down, or all your staff leaving, or, heaven forbid, my birthday. Anyway, oh. congratulations! You've just earned yourself a bronze star. The Thank first you. of many, I don't doubt. Oh yeah, we got a new star. Let's go, man. Let's go. Continue. I'll get in the trophy. High time we talk oh no, I have to. This is a tutorial. Sorry. Guests and improving the park. We want those guests to be happy, happy, happy. Ooh, you're planning on making improvements? That's good. I didn't like to say, but part of this place looks like the theme park that time forgot. So if you want to scoot over, I'll take things from here for a while. Actually, Lucy, I was about to say... Scoot, scoot. Okay, first things first. I know how I feel about the park, but let's see how one of the other guests is feeling. Go on, select one of the guests to see how happy they are. Okay, there you okay. go. Now, that level of happiness might be good enough for most parks, but I still think this guest would be a bit happier if a big chunk of the park wasn't super lame. Don't worry, it's not your fault. That one's on Mr. Thompson. I hardly think that's fair. All right, don't forget to immerse your guest in magnificent surroundings. Okay, so the more surroundings we build, I think we can... Hmm. Uh, you can place items from the scenario browser to improve guest happiness and your park rating. Additionally, improve the queue scenarios of rides will increase that ride's prestige. If you want to build your own scenario, create piece, uh, piece by piece, you can explore the create browser. Okay, Don't that's worry. cool. I've highlighted the problem area. So go on, stick down some scenery. Make it look all piratey. But where though? Okay, here, yeah? Oh yeah. Us guests love having interesting things to look at. Cheers us right up. Okay, first of all, delete, delete, okay, so there, there you go, so scenario, piratey, oh, a bit nicer. Uh, I don't believe I said I'm scoot yet, did I? So, another place it's super important to put scenery is around the ride queues. <gasps> Ooh, you know what? We should compare both of your rides so we can see the difference. Go and select that first ride you opened, would you? Uh, okay, yeah. So this one here, yeah? You see how it's got a high queue scenery rating? Because of that, the ride's prestige is higher, too. Us guests are way less interested in rides with boring queues, and so we won't pay as much to ride them. Right, now go and have a look at that new ride you built. Okay. So hmm. that's not nearly as prestigious as it could be, but you can fix that by giving us guests some eye candy to look at while we wait. Go on. Stick some nice scenery down around the queue. Okay, let's have a look. Scenery, mm, what can we put? I'm gonna work this. Because why not, right? It's really difficult to control all this stuff, you know? Alright, so that's gonna be one. Now, what else do we have here? Yeah, this is a pirate, like, do we really have time for stuff like that? Okay, you know what, work one of those. Uh, what, can, what else can we put in? Oh, it's a massive fountain, you know, I'm not gonna lie. 
admit it. Isn't that better? And if you check, I, it. I bet you'll see that the ride's Q scenery rating and prestige has gone up as a result. Oh hell yeah, it did. Seventy sixty seven percent. We can also raise the ticket price. Go on. Put it up by a few dollars. Oh, wow. heck. I really didn't think this through, did I? She wants me to put it thirteen dollars. Bruh, she is expensive. Oh, my. Look at all that wonderful new scenery. Well done. Really? I just put like well, three items. Mistaken, by raising this park's scenery rating, I think you might have. Yes, you have. You've raised the overall park rating. And that means more guests will be drawn to the park. Heavens, what an important number, eh? I like the score, though. I'm not going to... Okay, uh, how popular a theme park is depending on its park rating. Each park has a park, uh, park rating based on its overall quality. A higher park rating means you will attract more guests and those guests will also stay for longer. The main factor which counts towards your park rating are ride scenarios and average guest happiness. Right. Great. I think it's time we took a look at the park rating breakdown. It's a great way to track how your park is improving. Let's have a look. So, I am on 276. That's it. In here, you can see how your overall ride and scenery ratings and guest happiness are all critical to improving your park rating. And remember, the better your park, the more guests who will come and visit. So, let's get that scenery rating even higher, eh? Make the whole park look as wonderful as those rides you spruced up. Go on, get decorating! Hello again. I just noticed that you were using the scenery blueprints to decorate the park. I actually built those blueprints myself, so I'm very happy that you're using them. You can actually find the individual scenery elements, the ones I used to build those blueprints, by looking under the Create browser, if you want to. But, uh, as I mentioned, I did go to the trouble of painstakingly handcrafting literally hundreds of them for you, so, you know. All right, thanks for that. I mean, personally, this is actually pretty cool because whenever we're going to be using uh, sandbox or whatever, we can create our own. See, like, there's so much stuff that you can use. Uh, there you go, look at this. Can I, like, can I put it, like, down? Like... Like, you know, the, the question is, okay, I think, if I'm not mistaken, there you go. Okay, so I can, I don't want to, oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do, but okay, let's just mess it up a little bit. Who gives a crap? Like, it's so difficult to do with the controller, you know? Okay, race park scenario rating to 50, we're on 46 at the moment. Alright, so first of all, let's just come over here. Ooh, that looks banging, dude. Can I just walk you over there? I mean, they wouldn't see it as much, would they? Nah. Okay, this one's a little bit too big, then. How about... Oh, this is a big castle, man. How much does it cost? Very large. I don't even have that much money, probably. Oh, that's cool. They can walk through it. You see? The only problem I'm finding... There you go, okay. Bro, let's go. That looks go. That looks good. I actually like it. Goodness. No, not really. Your that, that was terrible. Your transformation of the park has really bumped the park rating up a good few notches, my friend. And look at all the guests, happily smiling away. And you know what they say about happy guests? They like spending money. Oh, is everything about cold, hard cash with you, Cynthia? No, I also like stocks and shares. Anyway, guests have other needs which can affect their happiness. So, let's take a look at some of them. Yes, let's. Scoop. 
All right, guest needs. Guest needs to uh, tell you how you're okay. So this is pretty much toilets, bathrooms, uh, food, but and stuff if like that. You want to find okay. out what us guests need? One way is by looking at the guest screen in park management. Go on, open it. Notification overview, and there we go. Guests. This is where you can see what the average guest needs are in the park, as well as the most common thoughts that the guests are having. You know, it's weird. I really should think of this thing as a massive invasion of privacy, but I'm kind of okay with it. Yeesh. It looks like a lot of the guest thoughts are about how the park is missing important facilities. Hmm. Okay, first up, food. According to the guest data, we're hungry. Huh. I was wondering what that empty feeling in my stomach was. So go on. Build a food shop for us. Facilities, okay. There we go. Uh, that's the food sorted, but a bunch of us guests are also really thirsty. So you should definitely build some drink shops. A word of advice. Put your shop somewhere busy, so we get the best return on our investment. Sorry, I mean, best serve our guests' needs, blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah. Real convincing. Shop vendors don't work for free. We have to turn a profit. So, of course, at the middle, isn't it? Between everything. <sighs> About time. My blood sugar was almost down to a healthy level. If you want to make sure that you've got all our needs licked, you can look at the guest needs screen again. Personally, I am absolutely stuffed with both food and drink, so I'm good. Uh, okay, facilities, we need toilets. To be indelicate. All that food and drink means we have another pressing guest need to attend to. Yeah, like really pressing? Quickly, build a toilet for the guests. What? A whole toilet? You're spoiling us, Mr. Thompson. Okay. Bathroom. We shall walk bathroom. Let's just walk a bathroom here. There you go. <sighs> you know, toilets are great, but it'd be nice if us guests had somewhere else to sit down, too. Oh, yes. Go on. Pop down some benches next to the paths. You see, guests are a lot like cellular phones. Every so often they need to recharge their batteries. So you should plug them in and no, that's not right. We're gonna bring them like closer to see I can't walk him in here because there is the fence. So if we walk like Now that your guests can fulfill their needs in the park, they're less likely to become unhappy, which is great. But as more guests come here, you'll need even more facilities to deal with their needs. Definitely. in one toilet? No. Hey, it's quite a lot to think about, isn't it? Plus, the park's getting a bit more complex, and we might start to see problems popping up. I think we should look at hiring some staff to keep everything running smoothly. All right, so staff members helps to keep park in good condition. Okay, Speaking perfect. Speaking of problems, can you do something about all the litter? It's piling up and really bumming us guests out. Maybe you could hire some janitors to keep on top of it. Yeah, sure. Uh, okay, so uh, staff janitors. I'm just gonna work one here. Thanks for that. Of course, litter wouldn't be such a problem if Mr. Thompson had remembered to put some bins in the park. <clears throat> that was deliberate. So we could all have a learning moment. <clears throat> so yes, if you would please put some bins down, your new janitors will make sure they're kept empty. Oh yeah, good save. There we go. Perfect. No! Goodness me! One of the rides has broken down! How could this happen in one of my parks? 
Oh, it's all right. Everyone on the ride and in the queue is getting a refund. <gasps> Refunds? Quick, hire a mechanic. We need to fix that ride and get money flowing in the right direction again. Oh, and make the guests happy, etc. There we go, we've got mechanics, let's go. <laughs> ah, good. I'm sure our new mechanic will have that ride fixed in no time at all. <laughs> Not without breaking the space-time continuum, they won't. <laughs> uh, what? Why would you say that? Fix the ride. Uh, what we can do in this case, we can increase the speed a little bit. You might want to consider speeding up time for a while. Yeah, I did. Already for four of this, you know what I mean? Well, stuff my uh, tutorial okay. emergency has been dealt with. The mechanic can spend their time inspecting the rides and reducing the chance of another breakdown. Now, I think it's high time you built a staff room for our staff so that they can have a bit of a break. Okay, but where where are we gonna put our staff? Okay, we can pull stuff from here. Really need to. Yes, you see, staff are a lot like cellular phones. No, wait, I've tried that one before. Anyway, just like guests, staff members get tired as well. And if they get too tired, they simply won't be able to work. Staff rooms are where they get their energy back. I like that, like, this tree is literally inside the staff room. It's fine. And now that we have a staff room, the vendors in our shops will be taking breaks too. So... You should hire some extra vendors to fill in for them. Okay, staff. Vendors, okay. Oh. Gosh, you've got so many people working for you that there might not be enough space in the staff room anymore. You'd better increase the staff room's capacity just in case. Okay, uh, add building, staff building 8, 3, go to 8. Look at you! Oh, you're a born manager! Congratulations! <laughs> Pretty soon Thank you. you'll be hiring entertainers to lift the spirits of your guests and hiring security guards to deal with pickpockets and ne'er-do-wells and, well, partly to stop Lucy constantly cutting in line. You can worry about all of that in your own time, though. Yeah, we got another thingy. Stop. Okay, let's go for the Just gold look one. Just at how you've grown the park. It's like they say about tiny acorns. Don't eat them. No, that's not it. Anyway, just time for a few final management lessons before I let you loose on the world. Okay, uh, park manager. You can use the park management screen to monitor your park or uh, operations, finance, attraction, staff, research. Now, cool. these first few of the last few lessons will mostly be focusing on finance. Which is why I'll be handling them. You can get started by looking at the overall finances of the park in the finance section of park management. Come on, money's a-wasting. Okay, inspect finance, let's go. Oh. Alright, so we are having negative. Oh, this is my happy place. Just look at all those fiscals. You can get a very solid idea of how your park's finances are doing here. And looking at it, your rides doing so are doing good. well. But I think your shops could be doing better. Open up the attractions and shops panel. Okay. Shops. As you can see, this section gives you an overview of how your shops and facilities are doing. Ah, and as I thought, you could definitely stand to raise your food and drinks prices by a half dollar or so. Happy guests don't mind paying a little extra. You can also raise the prices of ATMs, toilets, even the first aid facilities. But it's a good idea not to get too greedy with those. Just for you. Enough. Okay, so you want me to increase prices. Okay, raise the price of free items in the shop by at least, by at least like fifty cents. Uh, we because we in UK that that will be a fifty p. I mean we got we got one in pounds, guys. All right, so 
Park management, shop and facilities, profits. Raise the price of free items in the shops by at least $50, 50p. Interesting. Okay, so there we go. I think I found it. We're going to increase this by 50. Increase this by 50. And then we'll come over here. Uh, prices. Green slush. We're going to go to... Seven. Yes, that's better. It's hardly Seven. lottery win, but we Seven. are seeing a bit more profit, Seven. which means Dang. that I get to interrupt you for once. We should put some of that money into researching a roller coaster. After Ooh. all, guests eventually tire of old rides. So putting money into ride research is essential if you want to keep a park fresh or expand it. Oh my! Oh yes! You should begin research at once. Okay. Park management. Research. Okay, so we got zero thingy. Okay, so we can research new rights. Now that the research is go. in hand, we should take a look at the staff again. Because their happiness is just as important as the guest's happiness. Go on. Take a look at your staff list. Okay. Overview staff list. All staff Good. okay. See, if a staff member is unhappy, then they won't be as effective at their job. And if they're really unhappy, they might even quit entirely. Anyway, I think it's high time we gave some of our staff a raise, don't you? No. Oh, yeah. That wasn't directed at you, Cynthia. So check if any of your staff members aren't as happy as they could be. And if so, Bump their wages up a notch or two. Increase into 80. There, that's a start. Now, if a staff member's workload is too high, it means that they aren't able to keep on top of all their duties, which will make them unhappy. One way around that is hiring more staff. But a more efficient way to deal with it is through staff training. So, Train up some of your staff. Staff, okay. How do I train them? Uh, train you. Oh, okay, so I can increase the thingy. Uh... Once you've chosen who to train, they'll soon toddle off to the staff building to receive the training and complimentary donuts. Oh, yes. <laughs> you clearly know how to care for your staff. Now that you've addressed their wages, workloads, and training, they'll be showering you with world's best boss mugs in no time. And that better means do. you're ready to learn about building roller coasters. Oh my, oh my. They're expensive things, but a theme park isn't a theme park without one. Eugene, take it away. Take what away? Oh, I understand. If you could reveal the newly researched coaster blueprint, please. All right, let's have a look. Reveal. New discovery. The American well, arrow. The nice. Top. Oh, but that is quite an exciting new coaster. That could easily hit 4.28 on the Eugene Thrill Rating Scale. And now that you have a new coaster type, you can place coaster blueprints for it. Or even build a coaster from scratch. But you should probably walk before you run. Now, open the coaster browser and select the blueprint. And place it in a suitable location. Here's some money. Think of it as a scholarship. <gasps> there we Look go. Ten K. Your first coaster. Let's go. You must feel so proud. OM gosh, out of my way, I'm gonna ride that thing! Sorry, not just yet, Lucy. For while the construction of the coaster is finished, we are not. First, the coaster has to be tested to make sure it is safe. If you could do that, please. You know, if it's just about signing a safety waiver, then I'm actually cool with that. 
Let's go. It's doing good. It's not gonna make it. Oh, he made it, bro. Let's go. That's a good coaster, man. Oh, man. People will be dizzy. It's finished. Not bad. I like it. Well, there you go. The Coasting along. The Let's go. Ratings are well within tolerable levels for guests, which means this ride is perfectly safe. Of course, that was to be expected with a prefabricated blueprint ride. When you build coasters from scratch, things can go differently. Okay, when you've connected it up to the rest of the park, you can open the coaster. Eugene! Again, apologies. Open the coaster! Okay, right, cool. So first of all, we have to connect it. Uh, walk over here. Now, connect it. See, like, the, the problem with me is... Oh, man, how do I... How do I go down now? There you go. I need to... I don't like it. Can you explain to me how to go down? Change height. This is going up. Okay, so this is good. Like this. But then whenever we're going to go down. Perfect. There you go. Alright, so now we just need just slightly bigger length. Okay, now I need... Ah, oh, this is very annoying. I need to get... Perfect. Okay, so now I want to add scenarios to it. Uh... Okay, let's have a look. Let's see what we're going here. Interesting, interesting. Real cars? No items here, okay. Real fences. Now, what I need to do is I need trees. Give me some nice trees. What else do we have? Okay, perfect. And then... Uh, castle stuff, okay, that's cool. No, we're good with that for now. Let's go with some nice attraction. Teapot. What about... Ooh. Ooh, that, look, ooh, that looks dope. I'm not gonna lie. Of course, I'm not gonna take this. Nah, that's too big. okay now what I want is I want some rocks no rocks but some rocks small ones do we have any tiny ones oh, they are big any tiny little rocks well, they were massive all right you know what don't matter perfect why can I open it cannot open why okay let's have a look what he wants me to do L3, open the right. Bro, why can't you open the right? Is there something? There you go, it's tested. Much Perfect. better. And what a fine coaster. But you're not done yet. You should adorn the track with plenty of wonderful scenery. Give the guests something exciting and unique to see as they whiz around those twists and turns. Oh, and of course, scenery will also improve the ride's prestige. 
You could use animatronics. They are extremely effective, although they will incur running costs. And, of course, there's all those wonderful scenery blueprints that Eugene made for you. Indeed. I really cannot overstate how long it took me to make those for you. Alright. Well now, okay, place four items of scenery near the coast, okay. Uh, what I'm thinking... And one more. Will you look at that? Are you sure you haven't done this before? We no. should immortalize your coaster by saving it as a blueprint. No thanks. Okay, okay. So you'll need to multi-select everything you want to include in your blueprint. Go on. Do I have to save it? Okay. Uh, multi-selection. Coaster and scenarios. Go and create a blueprint, and you'll be able to make as many copies of your coaster as you like. Or at least can afford. Oh, don't forget to give your blueprint a good <laughs> name and an exciting screenshot. And make sure to add any tags you want to it, so you can find it easily later. Here. Required. Oh. What's required? Ugh. There you go. Now you've made a blueprint, you'll find it in the coasters browser. But there's also somewhere even more exciting. The workshop. You see, blueprints are a lot like sandwiches. You can share them with other people, and they contain pickles. No, that's not it. But just imagine it. <laughs> Sharing your blueprints with the world. With the world sharing what they've built right back. That's what the workshop can do for you. Ooh. Right. Well, <laughs> that was a lot of work, wasn't it? I think it's time you enjoyed the fruit of your labors by riding your coaster, don't you? Go yeah. on, select it, and get on. <laughs> Where? Okay, let's go. Ooh, this is cool. Alright, oh, this is going to be crazy. Let's go. Oh, let's go, baby. Cool. Oh, I was okay, yeah. For now. I just, I just did it. Bye bye. Let's go again. Now this time we're at the front seats. Unlike the guests, you can get off the coaster whenever you like. Yeah. You know, just in case you're feeling a little bit wobbly in the tum tum. There you go. Welcome to Plant Coaster. Let's go, baby. Ooh, I'd slap you on the back, but you look a wee bit queasy. Even so, I think you're ready to start your no doubt illustrious career in park management. What wonderful news! Because it means you can start paying back the time and effort that Oswald's invested in you. And, if you would let me, I would dearly love to teach you the intricacies of building a coaster from the ground up. Oh, or ground down if it's subterranean. And I'm gonna tag along because my season pass gives me free entry anyway. Oh, and to watch you uh, grow as a manager, obviously. Not that you haven't grown already. Just look at this park. 
at your park, such a foggy park full of happy guests making precious but reasonably priced memories you should be proud of yourself but this is just the start are you ready for the next step Eh. Tutorials, guys. But yeah, so at least... Oh, right two. Let's go, baby. Wait, where's my... Was that a gold one? Yeah, I got a gold thingy. Cool. Uh, uh, stay in the park for now. Yeah, why not? Uh, yeah, so I really enjoyed it. If you do want to look over any of the things you've learned during our little lesson, you should check out the help option in the options menu. Okay, congratulations, story completed, date, okay, that's cool. That's cool, alright, so yeah, so tutorial is complete, guys. What I'm going to do as well is we're going to carry on with the, with the careers. Probably, I believe that each career is going to have a each episode, depending on how long it's going to take. Uh, and as well, in between, we're going to be playing some sandbox, creating our own little parks. Uh, so that one's going to be quite lengthy videos. So if you guys are interested and want to see some cool stuff we've got plenty of time if you have time just join in and relax so yeah i will see you in the next episode guys and stay safe i'm gonna carry on but before we do that guys i want to go on sandbox for a second uh actually no before we do that uh i've been doing some research and well i've been going through the game a little bit and then i went for the frontier workshop guys and if you're a trophy hunter guys there's a, li a little bit of a uh, help for you guys uh, in which that if you want some easy trophies, I noticed that someone the over here says trophy hunter. Uh, you can visit and then see all the DLC and stuff. You can subscribe. Uh, I don't know if you'll be able to like take it, but apparently there you go. We downloaded it. Nice. In which this this ride will allow you to unlock most of the trophies that require you to build a. Uh, a, a ride and stuff uh, but so we're gonna do it uh, just to show you guys but we in, in the same time later on whenever we're gonna be doing a uh, simple uh, simple like challenges or something uh, we will create our own ones that will match the same one as this but this is apparently one ride that will allow you to unlock most of the trophies apparently so let's have a look guys uh, if I'm not mistaken, if we go on... To, 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 uh, where was it? It wasn't on Thingy, it was on Blueprints, if I'm not mistaken. But... Uh, let's have a look. DLC items? No. Because I did download it, right? So now the, the thing is, look, there's a lot of them. There we go. So we got it. Oh my god. I ain't gonna lie, that is a massive. Can you explain to me how am I supposed to place this in here? Oh, there we go. Boom. Right, we're gonna test it. Fast ride, I'm not gonna lie, guys. I swear nobody will go on it ever. Okay, he stopped. This has supposed to happen. Oh bloody way, dude. That was a mad ride, I'm not gonna lie. Alright. There you go. Air uh, raising. We got one trophy right here, guys. That was, that was quite cool. So you don't even have to have guests. Uh, so you so far just give you one trophy. Uh, in which that's alright. Appreciate it. I thought it's gonna give me more. So I think that was the one for the... Uh, the f uh, 150 meters drop. So yeah, all right, we're gonna get out from here. 
Uh, as well, I wonder if you guys figured out if you have any idea on uh, how I can like turn off the unlimited uh, cash on the sandbox. Because personally, I don't really like to have unlimited money. I want to actually progress myself to have as much money as possible, but working towards it. But I, I, I've been reading some of the people are saying that you can do the challenges and stuff. So we will see anyways. Alright, so we go on career. So we did 3 out of 6. Hey guys, uh, so that ride that we just have placed, I thought that it only gave us air miles, right? In which I was quite intrigued by it because it actually gave you more trophies. So it gives you air miles, in which is create a coaster with uh, 15 moments of air time, in which that's cool. That it provides you with fa uh, faster than lightning, jaw dropping, the ride of your life. Uh, air raising, uh, welcome to Planet Coaster, that's not it, so just air raising and do, 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 do. scream if you want to go faster, uh, speed freak, a head for heights, coast along, uh, don't stop me now and hang time. So literally gives me one, two, three, four, five, six, 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 six. six. 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, it gives you 10, 11. It gives you 11 trophies just that one ride. So, what we're guys gonna do now is I have to go quickly to the Frontier again workshop and I have to quickly come and check whoever created it because that's a huge chapter to you, dude. You just gave us a 11 trophies for your hard work, so I appreciate it. Um, so come on Frontier. There we go. So who created it? Um, view who made it. Creation. Is that the Rebellion? WHO Rebellion? Yeah, WHO uh, WH Rebellion. Is that author? Yeah, so yeah. Uh, view profile. There you go guys, so this is the guy, uh, huge shout out to you dude for creating this masterpiece my man, appreciate it. Uh, what else did he create? Uh, this is 205 height, okay. yeah he did quite quite a lot of thingy, so get yeah, guys whenever you're playing check him out, he's got some mad stuff, I appreciate it dude. Uh, Alright, let's get back to the episodes. Alright, we're going for the Captain's uh, Lockjaw's Buried Treasure, beginner. Let's do it. Oh, wait. Oh, so there you go. So there's a second. Okay, so I get it. So we're going to still go for the tutorial, guys. And then we're going to go for the, the next three stars, guys. So let's go. Welcome to our roller coaster development facility. Here, you can learn about, build, and test coasters to your heart's content, all without having to worry about finances and whatnot. I'm not entirely sure how that works. I think Cynthia has found some kind of tax loophole. Right, I'll leave you in Eugene's capable hands. There is literally nothing he doesn't know about coasters. Thank you, Mr. Thompson. You are quite correct. And yet love, however, remains a mystery. Now, when guests ride a coaster, their experience will be determined by how exciting it is, how much fear it causes, and how much nausea they experience during the ride. You can see these ratings in the testing tab. Okay, cool. Okay, check EFN ratings. Uh, select ride and test coaster. All right. So let's select, let's say this one here. Look at those little faces. Okay. The happy face is excitement. The higher the number, the better. The scared face is fear. The best rides are scary, but not too scary. The sick face is nausea. No one likes being sick, so keep this as low as possible. Okay. At a glance, a green face means the rating is very good, and your ride will have higher prestige. That's the target we're aiming for. An amber face means the rating is just all right, and the ride will have less prestige. That's the target you'll probably hit a lot of the time. 
A red face means the rating is very poor and may even cause problems for guests. And that's like missing all the targets and shooting yourself in the foot. Okay. So, what the ball? determines excitement, fear, and nausea values? Well, they result from the gravitational forces experienced by guests as the coaster changes direction and speed. These are called G-forces. When you're ready, deselect the test coaster. First, some basics. Every coaster needs a station where guests can get on and off. That's understandable. Different coaster types allow for different methods of propelling their trains. The most common method uses a chain lift to raise the coaster train up so that when it crests the top of the hill, gravity pulls it down and whooshes it around the track. Traveling down the first drop, the train will normally reach its fastest speed. It's a great way to start building excitement. Left and right turns in the track cause lateral g-forces that induce nausea in guests. By banking the track as it turns, you can change the force from lateral to vertical, pushing the rider down into their seat and making the turn a lot more comfortable. Resting hills that generate just enough upward g-force will make guests feel like they're rising up out of their seats. This feeling of weightlessness, called airtime, provides maximum excitement to guests with just the right amount of. Oh, I to. I totally hate that on the rides. I hate Finally, that airtime bit. The circuit is complete as the track connects to the other side of the station. It's important that the train has enough speed to make it back to the station, but not so much that it has to break suddenly, causing nausea. It's a lot to take in, isn't it? But yeah, it's a lot. Not, you can always select one of the markers dotted around the test coaster for more detailed reference information. Gathered via exhaustive experimentation and at least one tummy related incident. Okay, so now view pop up market. Okay. Uh... Oh, what is this? Truck ride. Closed. Look Station. at all that high quality information. I really do spoil you. You can okay. increase the size Once of your station to allow for more coaster cars. And we'll continue. Okay, so you can you can increase the size of your station uh, to have more cars to or decrease the size to save space. You can also change which side of the station the entrance and exits uh, gates are placed. Finally, you can set the speed at which coast uh, train can exit and enter the station. Oh, that's very smart. Uh, make sure you leave enough room for a large queue. Perfect. That concludes the non-interactive portion of my presentation, for which you will now receive a bronze star. Very nice. Oh, that was easy. That was very easy. Okay, let's go now, for the next. If you could head over to the highlighted area, we'll move on to the interactive portion. Okay. Good news. It's finally time to get your hands dirty, uh, metaphorically, obviously, and construct your very own coaster. Now, it's probably a good idea to start out by trying to copy the test coaster. After all, its design is simple but effective. All right, so you can start by opening the coaster browser and selecting okay. a coaster to create standard. Now, perfect. Boom. Now that the station's down, you'll need to place pieces of track one by one by one to create a circuit. Start by building a chain lift high into the air, then switch to standard track pieces and create a thrilling ride back to the station. Okay. There are plenty of other options for you to explore in the settings, but I'll keep quiet and let you have the fun of experimenting. Plus, it's been 15 minutes, so I'm due a union mandated cup of tea. Okay, perfect. Now, we're going to go down, right? So, we're going to go one, two, oh, three. Wow, we already turned in. I didn't even want that. Okay. Four. Five. 
you've come All right, let's have a look. <laughs> I swear this is going to be terrible, guys. To offer you my warmest congratulations. Thank you. Oh, and the silver star. Oh, I already got silver star. Thanks. So now you've built that was easy. A track. That means you need to test it and see right. how it fares. But before you do, you should familiarize yourself with the tools you can use to analyze its performance. Select the testing tab of your new coaster. Okay. As well as the start test option, the testing tab has three sets of data that provide essential feedback from your test. Live data, results, and heat maps. Okay, let's go on live data. Live data displays information about the ride as it happens. The data is color coded, so you can easily see how well the coaster is performing. Okay. Results. results give you a fascinating insight into the ride as a whole. There's all sorts of interesting data in there. Track length, max speed, okay, that's cool. And then heat maps let you view data directly on the track, allowing you to pinpoint issues more precisely. You can choose what type of information you want the heat map to visualize. Oh interesting. And then stop. Right. When you're ready, feel free to start a test. Don't worry, you can stop and start this test at any point. But more incredibly, you can actually edit your coaster track while a test is running. Hmm, Every, interesting. Imagine being on one of the trains while that was happening. Oh, and don't forget, you can switch heat maps between E, excitement, F, fear, and N, nausea, as well as the various G-forces to see how your coaster is performing. All right, sorry for that, guys. Uh... I need to go back quickly on the... There we go, let's go. Let's have a look. Oh my goodness. I think that's going to be a little bit too nauseous. Oh, we didn't even need the... the zips. Let's go. Oh, this is cool. Uh, I think it's going to be way too nauseous, you know? Let's have a look. look oh! Scary rides, but even too scary. Get on that thing, you should make sure your drops and turns aren't so severe and think okay. about adding some gentle stretches too, so your riders can calm down between the scary bits. Ah, uh, okay, okay, interesting. Alright, let me just get comfortable, guys. Alright, my, my chair is making quite a lot of noise. Okay, let's try to fix this ride, yeah? So, uh, attain excitement rating uh, greater than 5.5. So we have 5.4 uh, excitement, okay. Uh, in which, can we quickly have a look? Go 6. And as it's dropping, okay, so that's... So this is the, the area where it's a little bit too... Uh, fear okay so wow so that's where the fear increases then I think it's this this area so this has got tens and elevens uh, we have to change that this is two okay so the biggest fear that we have is right here so we're gonna fix this we're gonna can I edit the track uh, connect oh dear. I'm afraid your coat All right, let's see we're gonna go speed a little bit I just decreased that little section over here oh much better, much better. Let's go. Perfect. Come on. Okay, that's better. Noja is good. Or worse, I'll be honest. I forget your previous results, but I'm sure that if you just keep checking those heat maps and refining your track design, then before you know it, you'll have a successful coaster. Okay, so we have. Okay, so the scary. So they want the fear between three point five and six. So the fear is good. Three point five. And six. If you have fear less, actually fear is alright. And then we need the uh, attain excitement uh, greater than five point five. Okay. So what did he say that the excitement needs to be? If we. Hmm. Okay. Now I need to quickly come over here. Go on testing. Heat map. Go for excitement. Okay. Excitement. One, 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 two. Decreased excitement, decreasing, decreasing. Five, two point six, eight. Okay, so if we get another loop, for instance, that could actually help us out. 
so if I for example come over here and edit this track and we delete this one to do, 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 delete there we go and now increase a loop oh go all the way perfect okay let's have a look now now what we're gonna do open testing and then go for excitement oh this is gonna be insane guys okay it's going it's going so six six point four point five not as much excitement. Is it going to go through it? Yes, yeah, sevens. Okay, seven. Keeps going. Okay, it's decreasing. Decreasing six. That should that should be pretty decent. Five. Let me just quickly increase the speed. Two, eight, zero. Okay, can I? Speed is five miles per hour. What? No way. Clearly, there are still some tweaks to be made in order to hit those EFN ratings. Keep okay. at it. Well, how is this one looking? Ah, okay. So they have quite more. Hmm. Oh, All right. Uh, Perfect. I'm your coaster didn't get the required EFN ratings. Come on. I suggest using the heat maps to see where fear and nausea are too high, or okay. possibly where the track doesn't generate enough excitement. So now I have to just quickly come over here. So this is excitement. Let's go for nausea and see where the nausea is uh, most. You know, as it shows, I think the most nausea is around here, guys. So we've got eight. Okay, so if I decrease this in here, perfect. Sadly, your coaster didn't manage yeah. to finish a complete circuit. My advice is to make sure that the first drop is big enough to generate enough momentum to carry the train all the way round to the station. Although, you may need to revisit other aspects of the design too. All right, try now, let's see. Come on, test it again. Okay, so this is going for nausea now. Let's see. So we've got no point zero zero. Okay, so that's great, great. Not so good. Average eights, a lot of eights. It's just because there's a lot of movements in here. Maybe that's why. Okay. It's this area here that really screws me up. Well done. Get in, you baby. Let's go. The makings of a superlative that was actually pretty cool. So what we have done, guys? N ratings. The higher the prestige of your coaster, and the more guests okay. will pay to ride it. But don't forget, there are other things that feed into a coaster's prestige. For yeah, example, like... longer coasters are more prestigious than shorter ones. Plus, adding lots of scenery around the track and the ride queue will boost the prestige too. Oh, I always choke up at this bit. Seeing someone graduate from my presentation and wondering if I'll ever see them again. Thank okay, you, we'll thank you. Alright, yeah, okay, stay in this park. So, what I decided to do, guys, is let me just quickly de uh, slow it down. What we're gonna do is we're gonna test it, but this time we're gonna go uh, close, test, and then we're gonna go on the camera. So, and then I will explain to you guys what I have done to make it go 5.71 for excitement, 4.6 which is green for uh, fear, and 3.4 for nausea. Uh, in, in a sense, I have, think I've spent like what could 20 minutes to just try to fix this one on, you know. Uh, so, the more turns after the drop. The, the more nausea you have, you know? So make sure, like, after the drop, there's no turns. You can do the loops if you want, guys, but turns is not as effective. Uh, like this, for instance, here. Like, if there's too many of those, you won't, you won't do as much. Uh, and then there's a loop. See, like, those kind of, they provide a lot of nausea, you know? There we 
know, and then, like for example, after it uh, after it drops down, there's a, a loop. Then that is like the best. It provides a lot of excitement, a lot of like less no shadow. It's really good, guys. It provides your prestige quite a lot. There we go. I actually know. I'm quite proud of it. This is actually a pretty decent thingy track. All right, so that's it. We have completed the tutorial pretty much. Uh, what we're guys gonna do now is pretty much that is it, man. Like that, there's nothing much that we can talk about. But yeah, so at least it uh, kind of like gives us a little bit more knowledge on how to create a good ride. All right, guys. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna exit this menu. And then we're gonna see what can we do next, you know? Uh, and then we're gonna think about the next episode and stuff like that, guys. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. So we have... So we have completed the old spoke practice tutorial. We got six stores out of six. The next one's gonna be a captive uh, lock jaws buried treasure. We got three missions in here, in which I'm kind of, kind of happy because the more missions, the better, right? Uh, so yeah guys, I will see you probably on the next episode, if you enjoyed it, hit the like button, subscribe and stay safe and I will see you on Planet Coaster. On